Okay, good morning everyone. I'm just getting started. Just refrain from comments until I start the session um, because, you know, it's, um, yeah, I just got to get a few things sorted here first. Just hang on. We'll wait for everyone to arrive um, and I'm just going to put in a message here. <clears throat> Hope you're well. Good morning, Laurie. Sorry about the confusion. Um, I just have a few issues when I use my phone and I sort of prepare lives. Um, I've noticed that you've donated $10 in the other channel, um, which will go through, but I've just got to delete that video because it's not live. Um, so yeah, just be patient, guys. I just every time I start, I just I need a few minutes just to sort of get things mo moving and make sure that everything's working and all that sort of stuff. Um, so just chill, and I'll be with you in a second. one it is now. Great, now my battery's going. Just a second guys, it's all happening. It's all happening. Yep, so that's the last one. I'm just going to delete that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, now I've deleted that video. I've just got to plug in my laptop because it's about to die. Okay, so sorry guys, I should be a little bit more organised than this, shouldn't I? Um, just let me plug this in, turn my microphone around. Oh, I have to say, it's been a very busy last couple of days. It was my husband's birthday yesterday, so I'm still sort of getting reorganising from that.
Okay. All right, we're starting on a little bit of a crazy note this morning. We've got a few technical problems happening. So I just had to sort that out first. And once I do that, then we can get started. Okay, so Lorraine, can you please pre can you please paste your question in again so I can see what it is? Um and Abe's here. Hi, hey Abe, how are you? There's been a bit of a confusion here with um the videos. So Lorraine has actually put in a donation first and it's on another video which is now deleted. So yeah, we've had a bit of a, a conflict there. Um yeah, I'm well. I'm okay. I'm just um as I said, I'm just warming up for the day. So just bear with me guys. I'm just sort of fixing some technical stuff as well as figuring out who's going to be first. So I can see your question here, Ave. Does CL, how does CL, the person in my mind of interest, feel about me? Avatar, we're currently not talking. Okay, I sort of don't understand the question. How does CL, the person on my mind of interest, feel about me? Avatar. Who, who is it? Is it CL or Avatar? I'm, I'm not sure what the question is, darling. Can you re-explain that to me? Um, what else? Just before we get started, I just want to mention if you're new here, welcome. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Um, I'm assuming the sound's okay as well. I'll just put the microphone here. Oh, Avatar. Oh, thank you, darling. I'm so sorry. Avatar. And I used his initials. That's okay. And Lorraine wants to know about the pipes in her house. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as I said, just before we get started, my name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a fan and you're coming back to get more readings, I'm so glad you're here. Today is Thursday here in Victoria, where I live. It's 10 past 10 in the morning. And... Um, yeah, it was my husband's birthday yesterday, so it was a, it was a lovely day. For those of you who follow me on my Instagram, I shared a couple of personal photos. Um, yeah, I try not to get too personal on my social media because, you know, I think there's enough of oversharing out there that I don't need to contribute to it any more than it already exists. Um, and this is a place where we can come together and just, you know, it's just a little bit more intimate. And I have to say, even though a lot of people have commented and said, oh, you know, um, your channel should be so much bigger. You're amazing. Blah, blah, blah. So doesn't bother me. I'm, I never, um, started this channel to become a YouTuber. Okay. I know that some people do that because that's their kind of goal in life to become a YouTuber. Um, but I use different social media for different reasons. And obviously this is a good way for me to demonstrate and showcase my skills. So if people want to join the channel, they can watch me. They can, uh, you know, learn as well, I guess, along the way, certain things. Um, I don't really like to use my readings or my, t or my videos as, you know, teaching guides because, you know, everybody to every tarot reader is different. And I feel like if you want to learn the cards, obviously you've got to do some sort of, um, you know, research of your own. And, 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 you know, if you want to learn as well, you can join my new angel tarot Academy, which is in the links below. 
But it's also important that you develop your own psychic connection with the cards, you develop your own um, psychic abilities um, through meditation, connecting with spirit, understanding energy work, um, looking into chaos magic, looking into all sorts of things that you know you can control. Because when I do a reading, it's very personal, like my energy and my sort of, um, you know, messages that I'm relaying to the person I'm reading for, that's coming from a place that is from my higher consciousness. That's not coming from me just telling you what to do with your life. It doesn't really work like that. It, I know it might sound like that from time to time, but that's not what it is. Tarot is just a guide. There are, you know, 78 cards in the deck. All the 78 cards are to assist us with guidance and they have certain properties, certain elements, certain archetypes, certain numbers. And all of these things resonate uh, holistically across the entire deck and within, you know, within a reading every time I shuffle. So, you know, sometimes people want to know certain things and yes, I can pick that up using the cards because this is a tool for me. You know, the rest is sort of... Um, my own sensory, my own perception of what's, you know, what's coming through. So I hope that made sense, guys. Um, I know I'm sort of rambling a little bit just to start the, the session today, but I just need to sort of settle into the table here and gather my thoughts before I focus. And also sort out those technical difficulties. So also I'm assuming you guys can hear me okay because the microphone's set up over there. Um, and I've got the sun and the moon in between the magician today as well, because the sun jumped out at me. Um, you know, I was feeling a bit down about something before and I thought to myself, you know what? It's not my problem. Um, you know, a lot of people sort of tend to think that if, you know, you're going through something, um, and someone else is projecting, you know, their shit onto you, um, it's not my problem. Um, and so I just sort of want to put that behind me and feel, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing me and I'm doing what I love doing. And, um, I haven't gone out of my way to disrupt or attack or be an enemy to anybody. And, you know, sometimes people just can't let go of their shit and I'm really, you know, I'm just beyond it. I'm so beyond it. You've got no idea, but all I'm saying is. Just let other people do what they need to do, you know, whatever they're doing in their lives. And if they're, you know, having a dig at you or something like that, just let it go. It's just like, what's, what's your problem? I just don't get it. Anyway, um, and, you know, people are always going to think the worst. They're going to think um, that you're out to get them or you want something or whatever. It's like, you know what? I'm tired of trying to explain to people that I'm here for a good reason. I always do things with the best of intentions. And I try and raise the vibration, whether it's, you know, being here on a YouTube video with you guys or talking about stuff on my Instagram or whatever. Um, you know, we've got enough going on in the world to focus on that's more problematic than he said, she said bullshit. Okay, I just don't have time for that. I'm nearly 50, for fuck's sake, you know. Um, so anyway, I brought the sun out and the moon is there as well. So we've got light and dark and that's about, you know, balancing the balancing the light and the dark, the positive and the negative and um, becoming what we say a fully integrated person. Okay. Okay. So let's get on with this. Thanks for your patience, guys. Um, I'm going to read Lorraine first because she did just donate in the other channel. Okay, which I had to delete. So if you don't mind just being a little patient, Avital, I will do you next. But first I'm going to read Lorraine's question, which is all about the pipes in her house. Okay, let's get started. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Lorraine need to know about the pipes in her house? And what is going to be happening here in terms of an outcome? Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. And you've also got the Hierophant. Okay. Um, 
the center of your reading you have the Ace of Wands. Thank you, Patricia. Patricia's joined us. Patricia, can you let me know what your zodiac sign is, please? In the chat below, and I will get to you in about 15 minutes. You've got the Empress here, and then you've also got the Chariot. Okay, so this is Cancer Energy. It's Water Energy as well, which is quite funny. Um, and the Ace of Wands here is about a new beginning. Um, Empress is about Goddess of Earth being grounded, being abundant. Um, but I feel like from a technical standpoint as well, there's a technical... Oh, you've got a lawyer helping you. Um, from a technical standpoint, we had a very similar issue with our roof and we had a leaking roof and we, we had to have our carpets replaced, new carpets, by the way, that we had in, put in when we moved into the house. And luckily we were insured um, for the damage on the carpets. But what it alerted us to was the fact that the pipes in the house had not been um, in the roof, hadn't been sealed for like 25 years. You know, it's an old house. So we needed to upgrade and we needed to maintain that and get some new piping put in and a few bits and pieces. And that was at our own cost, which is fine because the insurance are not going to cover a house that hasn't been maintained. So if the house hasn't been maintained, you might run into a few issues because if you buy a new property or you buy a property, it's really up to you as the new owner to assess the situation and if you get it assessed or you come across issues that cause damage, um, you will be insured for the damage, but you probably won't be insured for the, you know, where the damage has come from. So if the damage has come from the pipes or the damage has come from electricity wiring or something like that, then, you know, that's what you're going to be covered for. Now, Nine of Pentacles is about being financially independent. Hierophant is about the card of marriage. It's about being connected to the property. You know, you're married to the property. But Ace of Wands here is about striking a match and, and starting a new beginning here and moving forward because the cherry is about will and determination. Um, so you are, you know, you are giving it a good, you know, the fight is... Um, yeah, well, we had the same problem as well. We had pipes that were illegally installed, like different different joints um, back, which now are no longer legal because, you know, if you have an old house, then, you know, you might be inheriting, um, you know, stuff that's come through from the past here. But in the centre, the Ace of Wands, show me the Ace of Wands. It feels like you're going to be moving because the chariot energy can indicate moving and you've got the ace of wands here which is a new beginning and you've got the ace of pentacles which is also a new beginning you've got the queen of cups here which is kind of like a bit of a you know this is kind of a bit of a, a shoulder to cry on um energy and you've got the three of pentacles as well um Laurie, it feels like you have to move house. It feels like you should be buying, you should be looking at a new property here. It's almost like why would you why would you pay for all this stuff if you're not covered? If you're if you're not going to pay for this thing, I feel like there's an energy here that you need to move forward. Because the chariot is your outcome, the three of pentacles is real estate, the queen of cups is like, you know, the uh the shoulder to cry on kind of situation. And then you've got two aces above that. Um, you got the Wheel of Fortune here as well. So this could indicate you um, actually moving because, yeah, because the Wheel of Fortune is kind of turning here. It's like the wheel is turning because you need to, you need to move. It's like you've got this thing here where it's pushing you forward, okay? It's just pushing you forward like the wheels are turning here. Um, what are you saying? All the pipes have been replaced. It's going to be... Have to be replaced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be about 50 to 60K to replace them. We are considering moving. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like, yeah, this is something here. You want your independence, but at the same time, you've inherited something here which has been around a very long time because the Hierophant is sort of it's some sort of, you know, it's also an institution, you know, uh, heritage building or something like that. 
Mm. And then, as I said, you've got an ace of wands, an ace of pentacles, which is new, new, new passion, new property, um, you know, no longer being the shoulder to cry on. And then you've got the three of pentacles, which is about real estate. And this is about moving. And then you've got the wheel. So you got the wheel here in terms of like the outcome in your in the middle pillar here. And there's ability to, for you to start over. This is the Empress. There's fertile ground waiting for you. It's almost like you are looking at even um, buying a block and building something new. Because this is always like a new, fresh, like a field. I, whenever I see this card, I always see like a field with nothing growing in it. It's just completely re ripe for construction or sowing or farming or whatever it is. So it feels like there's a new goddess of earth energy coming through here. And it's, it's you got through two threes as well. Three of pentacles and the three, which is the empress. The threes are about creation. Okay. Creating something new for yourself. And then the outcome here is the chariot moving forward with will and determination. You've just got to propel yourself into that situation. I think you've already envisaged yourself kind of moving out. Um, but it sort of feels like here there's a move that needs to take place. And there's a, you know, you're, there's nothing stopping you. Your house was built in 1993, was never told it would not be covered by insurance when I bought the house. Seems like we will be moving. Yeah, absolutely. Um, bottom of the deck, you got the hanged man. Okay, so the hanged man is things are on hold right now. Um, you're going to have to surrender to the situation because the hanged man is kind of like what will be will be. It's surrendering to, to reality and surrendering to a new reality as well it's kind of turning your life upside down at the same time but it's also something that's currently on hold um let's see if i can get a timing for you angel spirits guides what's the timing on this can we get a timing on the move i hope this is making sense laurie I get a timing on the move. <laughs> nice. Wow, you've got two cards here. They came out together. King and Queen of Pentacles. This is you and your husband. Okay. New home. And this is you here. You hold the key. Okay. You hold the key to prosperity and, the, and a new beginning. All right. Both Pentacle energy here is very earthbound. Uh, it's Taurus energy. So you could be looking at um well this is capricorn so this is january and then taurus energy is like may so you could be looking at the first quarter of next year okay um what else can you tell me because you and your husband are very strong together this is like a power couple okay six months okay so what's six months then from now so that's september October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, it could be six to eight months, okay? And eight as well, I'm just getting a message. Well, eights are about moving, movement. Okay, so six to eight months. Um, what else can you tell me about the move? Thank you, Spirit. Six, yeah, about between January and May, but... Six months from now, if you think it's six months, I'd say eight months. Yeah, you got the tower here. This is <laughs> it's all gonna happen very suddenly. And this is also a breaking down of the old, making way for the new. This is Mars energy coming through. Kind of things are gonna come to a head and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to shove off. Um, Mars energy as well. This is April. Um, April, May. So April is October, November, December, January, February, March, April. That's seven months. <laughs> and you've got seven here as well as your outcome. Okay, so seven is the chariot in the major arcana. So I would say in terms of a timing, it's like seven months from now. But definitely you and your husband are moving. But there's like a, everything's on hold right now. Like nothing's moving at the moment because you've got the, the hanged man. It's suspended. But you have to allow grace to come in. This is like an opportunity for you to surrender to the situation um, cut your losses here. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour, though. So I feel like really strongly it is, um, you know, 
it's just not meant to be and whatever is meant to be is going to be for long-term financial investment. So the next thing that you actually do or move into or buy, you, um, oh, that's okay. You are going to be doing this together and this is kind of, yes, yeah, seven months. I'm going to say seven months here. Um, because this is interesting as well. When you've got the tower, the tower is number 16 and you add one and six together as well. That's also a seven. So you've got seven here and seven here. Um, so, Laurie, Laurie, I hope you found this um, helpful. Um, if you did, um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you guys have just joined me as well, um, you can. My home is worth 500K. Will I get close to that? I'm not sure about the value of a property. I don't probably want to do, I don't really give financial advice. Uh, I don't give currency or anything to do with money, like actual figures. But the energy that I got from your reading, um, Laurie, was the fact that, yeah, you will be moving. And I feel like you will be even building something new, like starting from a fresh slate, probably building something over the next, you know, seven months if you were looking at that. So I'm not sure about the value of your home. I, as I said, I don't give financial advice. Um, that's one thing, two things I don't do. I don't do financial, legal, or medical. Okay. I just give you energy in terms of my vision and, um, you know, some sort of prediction or timing. The timing is very different than a property evaluation. Um, so rest assured, just keep moving and doing what you're doing. But yeah, pipes and maintenance are not covered in insurance. Only the damage caused by it, if you experience damage. And if you had to invest and redo the pipes, which is what you've just said, which is what I experienced. It was about six months ago. Um, you know, and it cost us about 10 grand or something. So, you know, we just had to we just had to deal with it and do it because we're not moving. <laughs> So, Laurie, I hope you found that help, help, helpful. Um, again, I, I don't, I don't give a financial advice. Um, you're welcome. So, welcome, guys. If you're new here, don't forget. Um, if you'd like a donation, you can use the super sticker in the chat below. I don't give free readings, but now we're going to give a reading to Avatar. Avatar wants to find out about CL. Someone in her life that she wants to find out about. And she is Pisces. We've got the Pisces card up here as well. We've got the Moon card. Patricia's here as well. Thank you for donating, Patricia. You'll be next. Um, just let me know in the question what your or let what the uh, question is about. <laughs> and we're going to do Avatar and find out what's happening with CL. Okay. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Avatar need to know about CL? What do you need to know about CL with Avatar? What does Avatar need to know about CL? Oh, we've got the Six of Pentacles here. It's Venus energy. Four of Pentacles. Center of your reading, you've got the Queen of Swords. Okay. In the future, you've got the Eight of Swords. So a bit of sword energy going on here. Uh, page of Cups. This is beautiful. This is an offer. This is a love offer. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Two of Wands. Okay, so this is about planning. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at the chat. Sorry, um, Avatar. I'll just be with you in one second, darling. Uh, Lorraine, donate again for a different question. If you can donate, maybe jump on again tomorrow, Laurie, because I'm I'm starting to put in um, an energy here where I'm I've put it in the top of the reading here um, that people sort of have one you know one um, reading per session, okay? Because I had a, 
a repeat of a lot of people just giving, you know, money after money after money after money. And then they just kind of dominated the entire chat and I didn't get a chance to actually read for other people. So I just want to sort of put that rule in place um, so it's fair for everybody because I don't know what's going to be happening in the next 20 minutes. People might start coming through and I just want to keep things open and just keep it to sort of one question a day. And that way as well my energy sort of stays clear um, for one individual rather than sort of getting getting fired, you know, five or, you know, two or three different questions per person. Um, it's sort of not how I like to read tarot either. I just sort of like to put my energy into one sort of area for them for the day. And you take that energy and then you move forward. So if that makes sense, um, I hope that is okay. So Pisces, Avatar, here we go. So, my love, this is what's sort of happening here. Your question is, how does he, the person is on my mind, how does they feel about me? We're currently not talking. Okay, so in the recent past here, there was something here about a give and take relationship. You know, maybe it wasn't balanced. Maybe you were sort of, you know, hitting the ball down one end of the court and it wasn't being received or vice versa. But the connection here was not sort of balanced and that's what needs to occur moving forward if you want to sort of have a connection with this person. Um, this person as well is very career oriented. This person is also very like focused on what they're doing um, in their career and they're busy. They're busy at the moment creating um, a foundation for themselves and they're not sort of willing to share that with anyone right now. Okay, this is now. Okay, this isn't in the future. This is just what's happening now. So what's happening now is they're just being very sort of clingy with their money. They're being very tight with their time, um, with their energy, and they're just creating that security for themselves. In a way, it's kind of alienating for you and anybody around them and also themselves. You can see here that they might, they might be making lots of money, for example, but um, yeah, he loves his job. Yeah, they're very much focused on their career and they're very much focused on um trying to create some sort of stability for themselves so in a way they're just shutting everything else out to focus on that right now so that's where they are right now this is you in the center this is kind of queen of swords energy this is also could be the energy of the person that you're working with or wanting to connect with um the energy that you're working with sorry queen of swords energy is very aloof um is this person just sort of getting an, a message here is this person working in technology or some sort of digital because this is Aquarian energy as well but it can be very tech, um, techno based so I'm sort of picking that up as well in your immediate future this is probably some of the stuff that you want to look forward to which is amazing is to not he's a carpenter <laughs> okay he's this is a, this is sort of to um not overanalyze the situation, okay? I'll come back to that Queen of Swords in a minute, all right? That's just sort of something I like to throw out there. But Eight of Swords is about not overanalyzing the situation, okay? Don't overthink it because analysis paralysis is what we're going to end up, all right? This is very much like just taking it slow, just waiting for, you know, waiting for him to come around. And I feel like he might be coming around here because you've got a Page of Cups coming through and Page of Cups is a love offer. Okay, it's a declaration. It's someone here that is finally sort of coming out of the shadow and offering you a cup of love here, which is really, really nice. But I feel like this person is planning because the overarching energy is the Two of Wands. And Two of Wands is about planning for the future, looking at the world in the palm of your hand, looking out from a, a higher place. Um, you know, it's almost like standing on a hilltop and looking down at an entire city. You can sort of, see, he can sort of see it from above, but he's not there on the ground right now. He's just looking at things holistically. So he's not like just sitting on the ground, just waiting for things to happen. Um, so I'm just going to go to the center here, which is Queen of Swords uh, energy. It's very sort of like, maybe this is just you. This is you sort of feeling... Um, you know, on your own here. You don't feel like there's a connection there. You're feeling just very sort of, you're making decisions on your own here and you haven't connected. So I just want to find out what that connection is with the Queen of Swords. Avatar, thank you so much. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you'd like a, a donate, if you'd like a reading, please use the super sticker in the chat below. 
it's a donation based channel. Um, I don't give free readings. So um, if you can just honor that, you can go into the list for a reading. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who have massive followings and they just give free readings all the time, but you know, they're monetizing their videos at the same time. So they're getting paid in different ways. Okay. So if people want to join this particular chat with my particular channel, it's donation based. That's why I charge. Okay. And also I believe in an, in an exchange of energy. Okay. I don't, you know, believe that my work or my gift or whatever is just for free because it's working with spirit. It's still energy work and energy work is an exchange. So uh, I hope that explains it. Show me the Queen of Swords for Avatar. Thank you so much, Spirit. Show me the Queen of Swords for Avatar and CL. There we go. The Star. Yep. Yeah. So the Page of Cups is coming towards you, darling. You just need to um, don't take your eye off the prize here. You've got double Aquarius energy, which is about following the star. Okay. It's about don't give up hope. The hope is is there for you. Okay. The Knight of Cups, again, this is another love card, is coming towards you now. Okay, this is the this is the pre the precursor to this. The Knight of Cups and then the Page of Cups is being offered to you. So you've got two cups being offered to you here. Five of Cups, um, there's a healing taking place. Okay, so you might feel like you're rejected. And then you've got the Hierophant here, which is the card of marriage. This is like really interesting. So this is something here that is going to be worth the wait. Okay. Uh, High Priestess, this is you. So this is Piscean energy, okay? This is ruled by the moon. And the moon's over there and the High Priestess is here. So this is about using your intuition in the situation. Um, he has recently seen me in a picture after a long time and I hope his feelings have reunited. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, you, at the moment, don't uh, coming up here, don't overanalyze it because he is there's there's like a an energy here of an offer coming through. You've got the Knight of Cups coming through here, Taurus energy, and your your High Priestess energy, which is about um, using your intuition in the situation and planning for the future here. So it's sort of like you've just got to wait, okay? Because at the moment he's busy with work. Um, but in the immediate future here, you don't want to overanalyze it. Eight of Swords is no movement, but Eight of Swords is like maybe he's in his head and he's overanalyzing the situation. But it, the middle pillar, which is what I call this sort of reading through here, is about um, moving forward. You know, he may have also been hurt in the past. He still sort of have a, has a few regrets from what's happened to him in the past. But he wants to be married. He wants to move forward. He wants a life. He wants a partner here. You've got the High Priestess and the Hierophant together. So this is a beautiful energy, okay? Both major arcana, um, both very spiritual cards. Um, and as I said, you've got the Knight of Cups and you've got the Page of Cups and you've got the Star. So it's it's really beautiful. Um, I'm just going to get me one more card here. Knight of Pentacles, slow. Okay, so this is going to be a slow burn, all right? It is coming towards you, but it's just moving really, really, really slowly, okay? And you've got the Angel of the Night here as well, which is... Um, this isn't a tarot card on the bottom of the deck, but this is also very much, um, this is a, a unique card to this deck, okay? So this is like a wild card. And basically when the, when she comes out, she's like um, an angel uh, uh, that looks after you. She's sort of by your side. She's taking care of you at the moment, but she knows that, you know, she's been through enough. She's been through the same sorts of things um, as you. So she can also empathize with you and protect you and make sure that, you know, you're um, you know, you're going to be okay. She's kind of like your spirit guide um, in a way. You do have a spirit guide with you who's kind of holding your hand through this process because she's felt the same way, okay? Um, so even though this is happening very slowly, she's there with you every step of the way. So I hope that helps. Um, and I've also got the two of wands here as your outcome. So I'll just get a bit of clarity on that for you. Show me the two of wands. Wow, you got the magician. All right, so this is Virgo and Gemini energy. This is about manifestation. So what we're doing, literally what we're doing at the moment anyway with this tarot reading is we're manifesting, okay? We're creating something here for, you know, projecting what you want for the future, putting your hopes and dreams, putting your energy. We're putting our conversation into this. Um, yeah, so 
this is about manifesting what you want, you know, being the magician, visualizing the situation, also feeling what that feels like, you know, if you were there walking down a beach, you know, what does that feel like? What are the feelings that you're going through, imagining yourself with this person? Um, and then also at the end, you know, understanding that it's done. You know what I mean? Um, it is done. So when you ask spirit or you ask anything for something in return, you need to ask for it, but then obviously cause no harm to none and then say it is done and it is done. And then you walk away and you don't think about it anymore. And then it'll come towards you. So I feel very strongly, um, this is a manifest, this is a, this is a process in manifestation, but it's also a process here that he's sort of maybe there's a healing that's taking place here, but there's like a, a mystic couple here together, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. They're kind of one in the same. Okay, and if you keep visualizing, you know, it's bound to become, um, you know, it'll it'll manifest itself into what you what you want it to be. So it is coming. Um, I can't give you a timing on it right now. They're not giving me a timing. I'm not sort of getting an energy here where I need to tell you a timing. But at the moment, this is about your manifestation. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, hang in there, you know. If we really, really, really want something, we'll eventually get to it. we just got to really want it. Okay, guys, so next we have Patricia. Patricia is also a Pisces. Patricia has lost her dog at 15 years. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I feel like everything is changing. I'm wanting guidance on what might be next for me and also my finances. Thank you. And you're also a Pisces, aren't you, Patricia? I think you, I think you mentioned that. I think you mentioned that. Um, all right, let's see what's happening with Patricia because... And you know what, Patricia, I thought I'd mention this as well. Like yesterday was my husband's birthday and one of his, one of his uh, birthday gifts was I booked him a medium, uh, a medium session. And this particular medium works with animals. So she's a pet psychic or she's a pet medium. And I don't know if this might be helpful to you, but she was excellent. Like she actually said certain things. She even described the food that we give our pets, she, like to the T. Like the, the, the information was so accurate. It was crazy. And my husband also had a dog when he was growing up. And the dog was um, a Can Terrier, which is a, a Scottish dog. And it's um, very, it's a very specific breed, and that's exactly what she said in the reading. She said, "Oh, I'm picking up a dog here that you used to have as a child. It was a very specific breed. You know, it was very sort of special. You know, he's coming through and saying, i 'I'm very special. Look at me, look at me.' And the dog's name was Arthur." And she said that um, he used to win awards and things like that. And he said, "Yeah, that's Arthur. Like that was his dog." Um, which was really cool, and he was crying as well. It was really emotional. So I feel, um, you know, this is something. I'll if you want to email me, I can give you um, her details. But it was really positive, and this also might help give you some closure as well. I'm not a medium, but I'm just mentioning it, Patricia, because as I said, um, my husband just loved it and thought it was amazing. Oh, Jake's here. Hey, Jake. All right, so we've got some friends in the house here this morning, which is great. Um, Jake's a fellow tarot reader and warlock. It's lovely to see you here, gorgeous. And Jake is also a Pisces. So we've got a lot of Pisces energy coming through here this morning. Um, but now we're going to do a reading for Patricia and find out what's happening with her, um, just some general guidance, okay? Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Patricia need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Patricia need to know? 
this is your card. This is the High Priestess ruled by the moon. Okay, so you're at the center of your own reading, darling. Crowning you, you've got the Two of Swords. You are at a bit of a crossroads, okay? You're protecting your heart right now. Um, Five of Cups is in your foundation. Absolutely. This is your heartbreak, sorrow, disappointment. You know, you're so sad right now, and I understand. You know, losing an animal is just as painful as, you know, a person. You know, they're part of our family. Recent past, Seven of Pentacles. In your immediate future here, you've got the Temperance card, which is also about Sagittarian energy. You yourself at the moment is Eight of Pentacles. In your environment, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Your attitude is the Ten of Cups, okay? Pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I feel like you're also focusing... Um, let me have a look here just quick, sorry. Everything is changing. And also my finances, yep. Yeah. Okay. Because your finances are here. This is you sitting here with me. This is about mastery, but it's also about your work. Okay, so this is about mastering something at work. And then your outcome here is the Page of Swords. It's time to innovate. Okay, it's time to in innovate. Um, it's time to get creative, especially when it comes to communication, writing, reading, anything digital. You know, you're a creative person. You're a Pisces. You know how to do this. Um, overarching energy here, you've got the Ten of Wands, which is the burden that you're carrying. This is a lot of, this is a lot right now. And I understand that, you know, it's, Yeah, it's heartbreaking, I know. Ten of Wands is your overarching energy. And clarifying that, you have the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning here for you. Also could be a new job. I feel like the job that you're in right now is taking on a lot of responsibility. Okay, it's sort of backbreaking work. You you also feel maybe, you know, this change is necessary for, you know, for, for moving forward. Okay, so I'll just walk you through all this, darling. <clears throat> The center of your reading, you've got your high priestess. So as I said, this is moon energy, Piscean energy, being able to, you know, use your intuition as to where you need to be guided next. Because, you know, also being a Piscean, you're going to be very, um, you know, you're heartbroken over this. And I've also got a, one of my best friends, she's Piscean as well. And she also just recently lost um, an older dog as well, who'd been around for a long time. And this is very, very heartbreaking. Okay. And she's going through the healing still. Um, but this is a time for you to just keep moving forward with your life, okay, and maybe reach out to, you know, if you want to reach out, as I said, reach out to a, a psychic medium or something like that where you feel like you can connect with him again. Because um, in, in your crowning position, you've got the two of swords, which is at, like you're at a crossroads right now, okay, and you're also protecting your heart. Okay, because two of swords is like this, you know, she's got the two swords over her heart space. So this is about being on the defense as well. You're being very defensive in terms of your feelings, in terms of what moves, what your moves you want to make, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, our puppies never leave us. Your puppy will always be with you. Oh, that's so sweet, Jake. Thank you, darling. Um, <clears throat> but at the moment, you're in a crossroads. You sort of, you're at a, you're at a crossroads. You're in two ways. You can go one way or the other. Do I keep my job? Do I change jobs? Do I stay in the same house? Do I move house? You're sort of reassessing everything at the moment. And the reason why I say this is because in your recent past, you got the Seven of Pentacles, which is the card of reassessment. Sevens are about reassessment. Pentacles are about your job, your home, um, your environment, your health and your wealth. Okay, so you're reassessing all of this right now. And sometimes when, you know, people pass or things, you know, um, those, those close to us move into the spirit world, it's time for change. You know, death is about transformation as well. It can transform, um, you know, a new chapter in our lives through, you know, letting go of something, you know, old and making way for the new. That's also the energy of the death card. This isn't the death card, but <clears throat> what I'm saying is you're reassessing at the moment. You're reassessing your health and your wealth. Okay, so that's your body and what's happening in terms of currency and energy and what's being exchanged with you right now. Um. In your immediate future, you've got the Temperance card, which is about finding balance, okay? Moderation and patience in the situation. Replenishing the earth to make way for new water and new new current to come through. You know, I just said, talked about currency. But this is water energy as well. So this is your energy in terms of being a Piscean, 
but the temperance card is Sagittarian, which is like new philosophy, new adventures, new travels, new, um, you know, new pathways. Um, but it is essentially two words, moderation and patience in a situation, keeping one foot on the ground and one foot in the water. Okay, working with these two jugs here, kind of balancing that humanitarian kind of energy as well, restoring. This is also a restoration card. Um, in terms of your philosophy on life, the way you're looking at things. Um, and it can also indicate travel as well. Temperance energy is being just being slow and steady. Don't 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 put any judgments on it. Don't put any labels on it. Go through your emotions, own those feelings, go through those feelings. Um, but it is also about keep treading water and keeping your head above water. Um, you want to keep your head above water, not go too deep where you lose yourself. You don't want to do that. So that's when the temperance comes in. You know, creating moderation and patience, balance in the situation. Eight of Pentacles is you with me right now, okay, Patricia. So this is you here with me today. Eights are about movement, but Pentacle, Eight of Pentacles is about your career and focusing on a level of detail here, focusing on something here that you need to master, okay? And that's also going to provide movement for you. So it's about being able to move forward in a situation, but there's something here that you want to focus your energy on. And this could also be a message here to sort of say, focus on your work to sort of help you, you know, heal, distract you, move forward in uh, in other areas of your life. You know, even if it could be just literally subconsciously, not consciously. Okay, because at the moment you're consciously dealing with just what you're experiencing but in your subconscious world is what you can sort of tap into, you know, what's going on in the background. And I feel like this is something here that you could focus your energy on, which is your work, your career, or some sort of craft, working with your hands. Okay, I'm also getting an energy here about working with your hands. Um, trade, anything to do with that, that you can generate some sort of income from. This is really great because I also feel like maybe you could work for yourself or something here, but there's an energy here in your environment, which is Nine of Pentacles. It's about obviously enjoying the fruits of your labor, whatever money that you do have right now, you know, maybe it's a bit of self-care that needs to take place. Treat yourself, get a massage, go out for lunch, buy a new outfit, do something here that will sort of lift your spirits, okay? Because Nine of Pentacles as well is also about being financially independent and you are financially independent. But there's no also point in having money in the bank if you can't enjoy it. You know, it's a time for you to enjoy that. Uh, enjoy what you've created for yourself. Enjoy the spending. Um, your attitude is the Ten of Cups, which is about emotional fulfillment. Now, you also want to be careful that you don't just find a replacement for what you're feeling right now. It's not about replacing those feelings. It's about owning those feelings and going through the healing. And getting to that other side, getting to the end of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Because, you know, you are emotion, full of emotion right now. Your attitude is a 10. It's it's excessive. You know, you are so emotional <clears throat> that probably you can't see the good in the situation at all. You just feel the loss. You feel the pain. This is in the foundation here, the five of cups. So this is the pain. But this is also what's waiting for you on the other side. What's waiting for you on the other side here is also a new beginning, okay? Um, the five is kind of like this is the five and this is the ten, so it's like a double up, okay? Um, in your outcome, you've got the Page of Swords, which again is this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, um, and also to, you know, provide, um, you know, a new sort of, way of looking at things as well because it's also cerebral energy it's about being a student again maybe learning something new here picking up something here that will sort of take your mind off things because pages are also about learning but they're also about communication books media anything like that and it's about sort of maybe going back to school and learn and being going back to university mode not literally go back to school but revisiting something here as well that maybe you used to enjoy doing and picking that up again well, that's a really good um a, a really good suggestion jake building a small shrine to honor your pet make a place where you can go and light a candle and talk to them leave their favorite foods and toys that's so cute i love it um it's part of you know all sorts of the grieving process as well you know grief is everybody deals with grief in different ways so thank you for suggesting that as well, Jake. 
it's really beautiful. Your overarching energy for the reading is the Ten of Wands. So in terms of direction right now, you're carrying a lot of stuff, you know, not only just responsibility at work, but I feel like you're carrying the load for other people, maybe in your family as well, maybe just across the board. Okay, so tens are an excess point. But then you've also got an ace here, which is the ace of pentacles. And for me, this is like a new opportunity. Okay, so the ace of pentacles is generally health and wealth. And generally, it can also indicate a new job. Okay, it's a new beginning. Um, so it can indicate, you know, an offer that's coming through here because this is sort of as much as you can take. And if you have been looking around, it's time to start over because there's something here waiting for you. And I feel as well this can happen very, very quickly because Ace Wands energy is very fast-moving energy. Um, I usually say four to six weeks, but I'm even thinking in about 10 weeks' time from now, you could be getting a job offer. So if you start looking this week even, Patricia, and you wanted to start, sort of start moving forward in your career path because you've also got eights here in your career. This is your mastery in your craft and working with your hands or changing jobs or something here. Um, you could be changing jobs or something even in as quickly as 10 weeks. Okay, so this can happen very, very quickly. Um, in terms of new direction as well, I just want to get some clarity for you on the Page of Swords. Show me the Page of Swords for Patricia. And it's also um, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy. So I don't know if you have a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius in your life, but this, this energy as well can also raise you, you know, um, lift your spirits. I'm probably going to say Gemini more than anything because Gemini is a mutable sign and um, Pisces and Gemini are actually quite compatible. You know, they can work together quickly. They can spin off ideas from each other. You do work for yourself. Okay, so this is about being innovative Okay, and learning something new here and spin, putting a different spin on something. <clears throat> but mastering it in a way that's also going to give you some a new form of inspiration. Queen of Wands is Leo. So this is about your time to shine. Three of Wands is definitely about um, uh, your ships coming in. And then you've got the Justice card here as well, which is, again, more balanced. It's Libra and Energy. So I feel like you, the order will be restored if you also go through the healing. Obviously, go through the healing with your, you know, with your dog. Um, but you also asked me about your career path and what's ahead here. And this is Queen of Wands is also very independent. This is a woman here who's got, you know, um, her own identity. She's ruled by the sun. She raises other people up. And your Three of Wands is about your ships coming in. So there is sort of some prosperity coming towards you. Um, and it's very well deserved because there's justice coming in here for you as well. Justice is about, you know, you're getting what's fair and what's just in a situation. So whether or not be moving away from this old job or moving away from responsibilities here that you're carrying, you know, maybe you're putting too much on your plate here. You've signed up for something here that's just too much responsibility. Even though you work for yourself, maybe just pare it back a little bit. And look for this look for this new golden opportunity because aces are about new beginnings and the pentacle is about a new it's like a gold nugget that comes towards you. It's like a nugget that someone hands you and gives you. It's like a singular coin that is, you know, it's a gift. It's a gift from from above. So you can start over. Um I'm not sure it is what you actually do. You could be, I mean, it's definitely something creative. Um, you have to be doing something creative here, otherwise you're just not happy. Um, but I feel like, you know, your foundation card here about the Five of Wands is, is you know, super sad. Um, and you're protecting yourself right now. But you can move forward, okay, because it's all about moderation and patience in the situation. Okay, being patient with yourself and being patient with the process. Because grief takes a long time. And when it's really fresh, it's just hot, it's just heartbreaking. It feels like the whole world underneath you is just given way. And and you don't, you know, there's a big hole there, there's a big gap there. But you've got lots of positivity coming towards you. And I feel like in the next, you know, four to six weeks, you could be making these big changes. Ten even, because you've got the ten of wands as a timing. Okay. So I hope you found the reading helpful, Patricia. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss. 
But again, um, you know, Jake had some great advice. Maybe do a shrine or something there where it will help with the healing process. And you can honour um, your family member, your fur family. Um, so it was, I thank you so much for joining me today, Patricia. I really hope you found the reading helpful. Bottom of the deck as well, your final card, you've got the Ace of Cups. This is a healing, okay? New beginnings. Aces are about working on the self and the Cups is your emotions. So there's a healing taking place here. It's time to start over. Okay? You've got this. You'll be fine. And Cups as well, Ace of Cups and a, a Cup is about a month as well. In about four to six weeks, you're going to feel like a completely different person. Okay, there is change coming through here for you and there's a healing taking place. So I wish you um, lots of love, Patricia. We all send you lots of love in the chat today. Um, can send out some healing for Patricia. It would be wonderful. I really appreciate you guys jumping on today and participating. Um, not everybody's story is puppy dogs and rainbows. But also at the same time, I, I feel, you know, I'm grateful that you guys have come along and, and wanted to participate and join in in the chat. Okay. So that was Patricia. And next we have Denise. Hey, Denise. Denise wants a love reading. She's wanting to know, will Matthew and I mend? our relationship okay so we've got a love reading going on here this will be quite interesting denise are you able to share with me what your zodiac sign is and what matthew's zodiac sign is um just so i can sort of pinpoint maybe some, get some clarity for you as well i'm just mixing up the cards sometimes i have some really bizarre ways of mixing the cards but there is method in my madness I just don't like getting repeats. And because I've got a big table, that's part of the reason why. You're a Sag and he is a Virgo. Okay. Well, Virgos can be very stubborn. My husband's a Virgo. Um, once, they, once something has been done, though, they tend not to go back. Um, I speak also from experience with another Virgo. So, for example, if there was, I'm picking up here, there could have been some sort of infidelity. Um, if that was the case, psychically, I don't even need to use the tarot. I don't feel that he's going to mend from this. I'm not sure if um, he's, yeah, I don't think he's going to recover from this. If, if it was something here that you may have done, and I'm just assuming here, but if you want to clarify in the chat, please let me know. But we will do the reading and see what comes out because generally it will come out in the reading anyway. Um, and we'll see what Matthew is going. You didn't cheat. Okay, well, that's okay. But all I'm saying is Virgos tend not to backtrack. They don't look in the, they don't sort of jump back in the ring. Once they've decided something, they've kind of, They've kind of moved on. But let's have a look and see what's in the cards. Okay. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What does Denise need to know about her Virgo? What does Denise need to know about the Virgo? Can you show me what's going on in this relationship? What's going on with Denise and the Virgo? Too many. Let me have a look here. Okay, so you got the three of wands here. Um, crowning you, you've got the Queen of Swords. This is kind of you feeling like you're on your own. And you've got Seven of Swords, which is in the foundation here. Okay, so this is the card of infidelity, and it's in the foundation.
Four of Swords is in the recent past, taking time out. In the immediate future, you've got the Hanged Man. Okay, this is Surrender. And it's also something that's on hold. The Empress is you <clears throat> sitting here with me today. This is the Goddess of Earth being abundant. The Wheel of Fortune is in your environment. Um, your attitude here is the Hermit. This is the card of Virgo. And your outcome here is the Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, Earth energy. This is Taurus. Um, bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is reassessment. Money, the home, everything's being reassessed right now. Let me have a look at the clarifier. Mm, Ten of Swords. Okay, so this is the ending of toxicity as well. Um, all right, so you've been, you know, there's been some sort of trickery in the foundation here. There's got something here. Um, they've got something, there's something here that's that's being, as you, you mentioned the mother as well, which is quite interesting. Is the mother um, a widow? Denise, is the mother a widow? Because if this is the mother, she's in the crowning position here. I feel really strongly that the, the, the mother here is in the crowning position and she's a widow. Can you give me some confirmation in the chat, please, Denise? And in the foundation, there's a seven of swords here as well. So there's some sort of reassessment going on here in terms of um, as above, so below. So the, the widow here is is trying to sort of create. I'm sure she's not a widow. I am. Okay, well, this is you. Okay, so sorry, it's not the mother, it's you. Right, so you're crowning the position here and you're having to deal with this. So the sword's energy in the foundation is about words and, and manipulation. Um, so the energy as well that you need to sort of embrace, and especially when it, with this deck, because I'm not using the right of weight today. In this particular deck, this is about sort of bring it on, okay? This is about you open arms, you know, you hit me with your best shot. You know that Joan Jett song. That's what this card is. It's like, come on, I'm I'm ready. Whatever crap that you're going to throw at me, I'm ready to take a bullet. I'm ready to 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 stand up for what I believe in. I'm ready to like, you know, even though you are getting um, almost like, yeah, you're getting you're getting attacked at the moment. Okay, and that's what it sort of feels like. Because this is the card of the widow, and this is in your foundation in terms of this. There's harsh words here. Okay, in the foundation. In your recent past, you've got the Four of Swords, which is about taking time out and looking after your mental health. Okay. Fours are about stability and more sword energy here is about communication and your mental health. Okay, looking forward to something. Now, I will get to your question in a minute, but this is sort of part and parcel of what's happening around you. This is why I do like a, a more thorough reading. So you have an understanding of what's leading up to this. In the center of your reading, you have the three of wands. So at the moment, you're wanting to create a future for yourself and you can see it. You can see it in the distance. It's almost like it's on the tip of your tongue and it's coming towards you. And what you're doing right now is you're creating something for the future, especially in business or trade. But also you're, you're, you're creating something here that you know you can see is possible, that you can see in the distance and you know it's coming towards you. Okay. Even though... In your crowning position here, you're on your own. And in the foundation here, you're getting like bullets left, right and center. Okay. But basically, this is about you keeping your. Um, 
this is about keeping your eye on the prize as well. In your immediate future, you've got the hanged man. And this is about sort of surrendering to the situation for what it is at the moment. Okay, because at the moment, as you said, there's a bit of toxicity happening in the foundation here and you just want to be able to move forward. But this is also something that's also on hold. It's suspended at the moment. It's not moving forward because it's on hold. And there's something here that you have to download. There's something here that you've got to get from spirit. That's a message that's coming through here. And that's why, you know, it's giving you a new perspective. It's turning life upside down. Um, you know, it's really you being in a situation where you just need to wait to have that aha moment because it's coming. This is you sitting with me here today. This is the querent. So, you know, the Empress energy here is um, Libra and Taurus energy, but it's also about fertile ground. This is a perfect chance for you to start over with this person because your Hermit card here is your attitude and the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. So the wheel is turning. And there's a key here. You hold the key to the home, to the hearth, to what it is that you want to create here for the future. And I feel like really strongly here as well, like you've got a, you've got an ability here to create something really solid for the future because it's, it's Taurus energy as well. And, you know, that's what you've got to create here. They, they're saying you've got to create a stable home environment. You've got to create some sort of stability for yourself here. Prep it, present it, get it to a state where, you know, you're going to be able to open the front door and let him in, okay? Because at the moment, you, he's in reassessment mode as well because Seven of Pentacles are about reassessment, especially when it comes to health and wealth. And then the clarifier is the Ten of Swords, which more sword energy, but the, the energy here is an ending because it's a 10, and the 10 then turns into a 1. So it feels like at the moment, stuff's on hold, but it is going to come to a peak where there'll be time for you to reassess, reopen that door, and he can come through. Because the attitude here is the hermit. It's also about knowing thyself. Not only is this the card of the Virgo, but this is also the card of you understanding your own, who you are right now, and what you want from this situation. Because this is you up here on your own in the top half of the reading. The proximity of these two cards as well also speak to one another, as well as the ones in the foundation here. That's how I also read it. Even though you're trying to create something new here for yourself, you're trying to create earth energy here because earth energy is here with Taurus and Libra and earth energy here is Taurus and 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 uh, Queen of Pentacles in your outcome. So it's almost like you, what you're experiencing right now is like necessary for the change to occur, okay? Because as I said, the wheel's turning in your favor. There's also going to be something coming through here in terms of financial windfall whether or not he could be waiting on some money to make the change or to, to, to not, you know, listen to his mother anymore or whatever. But you hold the key, okay? You do hold the key, believe it or not. He doesn't, he doesn't have a say in this relationship. You're in a position to um, create something new here and open a doorway here. But at the moment, he's, he's going through a period of reassessment and the toxicity has to come to an end. This is like a peak, Tens of, Ten of Swords is basically saying to me, it can't get any worse. Whatever's happened right now, words, things that have been exchanged, anything like this is basically, that's as tough as it's going to get. It's not going to get any more toxic, okay? Because this is like the ending of toxicity. Seven of Pentacles is, um, again, you know, it's about reassessment, but it's also about reassessing health and wealth. So... Is any of this making sense, Denise? I know you guys are like talking to each other in the chat. I try not to look at that because it's a bit distracting. But but whatever is on hold right now, if something is on hold right now with the hanged man, it's about surrendering to that. Not fighting it, not seeking it, not trying to make things happen. It's like just surrender to it because the surrender is what will allow grace to come in. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. You holding the key, okay, because she's holding a key here as well. Queen of Pentacles is a person who creates um, 
Yes, I feel that way. I feel that if you will, if you provide an earthbound environment, because he's an earth sign as well, you've got to remember that. Earth energy, earth energy attracts earth signs. Even though you're a fire sign, creating an energy here where it's stable in terms of fertility, harmony in the home, and creating something here for, for the two of you, you hold the key. That's the outcome. And Queen of Pentacles is about health and wealth. It's about your home environment. It's about good food, good wine, creating stability. This is an earth card. This is an earth card. So this is you as the earth energy. And this is the outcome as in you hold the key here. Okay. I'm a fire, but I'm older and more stable now in my 40s. Exactly. So use that energy. Use that wisdom. Because this is your attitude as well. The hermit. The hermit is all about wisdom. But the hermit is the major arcana card for Virgo as well. So on an earth level, you know, this is like a trinity as well. You've got earth, earth, and earth here. And then in the center, you've got the you've got um, the wheel, which is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter rules Sagittarius as well. So this is also in your environment. It's like you're turning the wheels here and the wheel is going to turn in your favor. Okay. But at the moment, in the next four to six weeks, everything's on hold. Because it's time to sort of stop, take stock of everything, who you are, where you're going, how you feel about that, creating an energy within your home, making it cozy, making it, you know, cooking good food, doing all those things to raise the vibration within your home. Because Virgo energy is attracted to stability. And the more stable you are and the more you invite that kind of energy, he won't listen to his mother. In the end, if he's convinced that you're the one and you want to, you know, create a future with this person, he'll make his own mind up. He's magician energy. That's this guy over here, Gemini and Virgo energy, Gemini and Libra energy. It works hand in hand. It's mercurial. So he could change. He's not He's not stubborn, okay? There's not a stubborn energy here. There's just an energy here that I feel like he's waiting to see what's on offer. It's like he hasn't ordered the meal because he's still looking at the menu. Does that make sense? And also because the overarching energy is the Seven of Pentacles. And Seven of Pentacles is reassessing health and wealth, okay? And then the Ten of Swords, he's waiting for that toxicity to kind of come to a peak. And the Ten, the ten's good because then it just turns into a One, which means it's coming to a close. It's like it's reached its peak and you, it's going to be an opportunity here to start over. So I do feel that there's um, definitely, uh, you know, an energy here where the wheel is turning in your favour. It's about knowing yourself and creating um, stability and harmony in the home and looking and offering that and you being able to hold the key here, okay? Because remember, you hold the key, not just to the front door of your house, but the key to the relationship. Um, I'm just going to get some clarifiers for you as well on the Queen of Pentacles. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the moon. You got the moon here as well all right so um there might be something as well here that's hidden okay and that's sort of maybe why you need to find that out there's a key here there's something a secret okay there's something here that needs to be revealed and then you got the sun which is the most positive card in the deck so you got the light and the day it's the sun everything's going to be revealed okay and i feel if you manifest this situation and you work towards what you want here and you take what I've sort of said here in a very, obviously in a very esoteric way, um, he's going to come out of the shadow because the moon is about what's hidden and all will be revealed. And when it is revealed, you've got the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. And it's also about looking up. Okay, see how she's looking up? She's not looking down. That's what needs to happen. Okay, you need to look up towards the sun and this can come towards you. Yeah, it is an interesting combo, but it's also, you know, and you've got the sun and the moon here as well over here in the middle of the Virgo card. So this is this is my talismans as well for the readings. So you've got the sun and the moon here in the distance and in the center here you've got the magician. And in the center we're talking about Gemini and Virgo energy, which is manifesting what you want. It's light and dark. Everything's light and dark. You have to take the good with the bad. You've got to balance that out. But I feel it is coming to a close. So 
creating that um, that welcoming and, and home sort of steady environment for him is going to be key to attracting him. And also a bit of a tip, um, Virgos are very fussy when it comes to having a clean home. Um, they're very critical as well. So just be careful that, you know, you, you know, you're on time, you know, he's, he's, I'm getting an energy here that he can be very sort of picky about little things. They might be little to you, but they're big things in his mind. You know, you've got to turn up on time, make sure that things are in order. Like he's all about, you know, order as well. He likes things neat and tidy around the house. So as well, that's another thing that you might want to ensure if he comes over or you want to cook him dinner or, you know, do some, do something like that to sort of re reignite the relationship. Make sure that everything is spotless, okay? Because if it's not spotless, as well, that's a turn-off for a Virgo. Virgos are just super picky. That's just what they're like. I, I speak from experience. I married a Virgo, so I know what I'm talking about. Um... So there you go. So, Denise, I hope you found the reading helpful um, and it gave you some clarity in the situation. I really appreciate you coming along today um, and that you have a beautiful week, a beautiful weekend. Please keep in touch with me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget, um, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I will be on... Um, I'm going to be on for another half an hour. So if you'd like a personal reading, don't forget to use the super sticker. I'm going to do a reading now for Elaine. Elaine Tat. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine. What does spirit want me to know? I saw 221 and 222 and 926 hearts while I was napping. So twos are, twos are always about balance, okay? Twos are all also about seeing two sides of the story, but twos are also about re regaining a sense of balance in your life. Nines are about enjoying your achievements, and sixes are about um, creativity and love, okay? Sixes are always about a rite of passage. Sixes are a very spiritual number. Um, we look at the six of swords. It's a spiritual passage. We look at the Six of Cups. It's a card of nostalgia. It's coming from a heart space. Six of Wands is victory. And Six of Pentacles is about a give and take relationship. So it is sort of understanding um, where our heart's coming from. You know, what is our heart telling us when we do and say and act upon certain things? You know, the Six of Swords is our mind. Six of Cups is our heart. Six of Pentacles is about showing you know, actions speak louder than words. And Six of Wands is being respected for what we do. You know, other people showing us that they care, that they're passionate. What does Spirit want you to know? Hmm. Also Ten of Cups I heard from Spirit. Yeah, this is about looking at two sides of a relationship and trying to find balance. So they're also showing you the Ten of Cups. This is about you obviously wanting that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You're wanting emotional fulfillment, but you could be in two minds about something. What's your zodiac, um, Elaine? Seventy-eight cards tell a story. Thank you so much. That's such a beautiful thing to say. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I've always just used astrology in my readings, just because I know that it's something I can, um, I, I know is is connected with tarot. Um, but on top of that, obviously understanding the meanings of the cards, but. Um, and also, if you're watching, guys, and you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. If you're a continued subscriber, you know I love you. Um, and I really appreciate everyone sort of dropping in and chiming in today. It's really great. It's great to see sort of interaction in the chat uh, and find out what's going on in everyone's lives, good and the bad. 
the, the good, the bad and the ugly, as we always say. I've just dropped this entire deck on the floor. But yeah, um, so if, um, if you're a Taurus and you have Pisces. Oh, okay. Oh, you've got a Pisces moon. I've had a lot of Piscean energy come through today. <laughs> Cries in Sagittarius. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, if you're new here as well, guys, just say hi in the chat. Let me know where you're calling in from. If you're from uh, Australia or the US or Canada or because people come from all over in these chats. It's really good to see who's uh, watching and at what time of the day it is because it's in the afternoon here. It's raining here. It's awful weather. I'm just shuffling your cards, Elaine. Just give me one more minute and then I'll give you a reading. Not sure about the numerology side of it. I think um, I'm just getting an energy here basically saying, you know, there needs to be some sort of balance that needs to be restored here. You know, you're, you're a Pisces moon as well. So maybe you're, you know, you, you're, you're, manifesting the ten of cups you know you want that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow you want the happily ever after are you single at the moment you're looking for a relationship because sometimes the the cards can come up as um talismans and we you know we're projecting um, our expectation in our subconscious and then the subconscious comes through in you know visuals or symbols or you know, all sorts of stuff. All right. Well, look, just let me know in the chat, Elaine, if any of this makes sense. I'm going to do your reading now and see what comes through. Um, and, yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, 78 Cards Tells a Story. It's so cool in Queensland. Yeah, it's pouring down here. It's miserable. Let's find out what's happening with Elaine. Angel Spirits, guys. Elaine the Taurus. What does Elaine need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Elaine need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit. You are single, yeah. Yeah, because you're projecting that. That's why you're seeing the card. Um, but that's good. It can also indicate a timing for you as well, my love. It could indicate you could be meeting someone in like 10 months. Okay. you got the Emperor here in the center of your reading, which is about control. And you got the King of Cups in your foundation, in your crowning position. This is really beautiful. This is cancer energy coming through, okay? Um, and the emperor energy here is about um, taking control, okay? And not, yeah, the slings and arrows about Raja's fortune. This was in the in the previous reading as well in the same position. Recent past, you've got your knight of swords here. Um, I feel like maybe as well someone's hurt you in the past here. Someone's done a number on you. And it's in your foundation. And all you want to do is regain a sense of control here. Because Aries energy is very much about, you know, regaining control in your life. You have someone that you like. Knight of Wands is in your immediate future. This is about creating a new pathway for yourself, especially in terms of passion, going for what you want, getting on the horse and going for it. Okay. Not being sort of grounded here by, by pain. Okay. Being able to move forward. This is you, Page of Wands. Okay. So... I'm getting fire energy coming up here. Is you there's a fire sign coming up here in your immediate future as well. But in your crowning position, you got the King of Cups, which is about mastering your emotions. So you mastered your emotions, you're taking control, but in the foundation here, you've been hurt in the past. This has been someone here that's done a bit of a number on you. But in your immediate future and where you're sitting right now, you've got um you've got a fire energy coming towards you. Not sure which fire sign it is. Could be Sag, Leo, or an Aries, because pages and knights embody all of it. Although Knight of Wands is is Sagittarian energy. This could be you also taking a trip. Are you taking a trip soon? Wow! In your environment, you got the Sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. So Page of Wands. This could indicate basically you're going to meet a Leo chariot moving forward. So there's movement here as well. Your attitude is to move forward with will and determination. And your outcome for the reading is temperance, Sagittarius. Could be a Sagittarian. you got Sag, Leo, Sag. Okay. Um, Aries, Sag, Leo. 
Sag. In the outcome, moderation and patience in the situation. Um, overarching energy, you have the Seven of Cups. Who is this someone that you like? Is this someone here? My tarot deck slaps me to my grave with being so blunt. Um, this someone that you like, do they happen to be in a fire sign? Because you've got fire, fire, fire here and fire here. And you've got Cancer energy in your crowning position. So can Cancer is the King of Cups and Cancer is in the Chariot. So crowning you, you have Cancer energy, which is water. But going from left to right here, you're leaving a toxic conversation, taking control, getting on the horse and moving forward and going for what you want here. But you just got to be patient with the situation because that's the outcome. That could be work-related. Oh, okay. Oh, as in you want to move, you want to take take control back in the workspace. Um, let me let me just clarify the seven of cups. Is the queen of cups all right? So, cups energy, water energy crowning you, and in your overarching energy being the shoulder to cry on. Yes, it's a girl. Okay. But you know how to master your emotions here because the King of Cups is also about, you know, this is cancer energy, but this is being able to control yourself. Hi, Jita. How are you, darling? Yes, of course you can still donate. I've probably got time for one more reading. So if you want to pop in the super sticker now, you can do that because I'm going to be on for another 25 minutes. Um, and if you don't get a reading today, you can also jump on tomorrow. I'm going to be on tomorrow and Saturday morning. So 10 o'clock tomorrow and then 10 o'clock Saturday morning as well, because I don't have an event on. So I'm just going to get on YouTube. But yes, if you want to have a reading now, you can do one today. Not a problem. So Elaine, as I said, um, I feel like you're mastering your emotions here in your crowning position, because in your foundation here, you've got some sort of you know, drama that's going on that you're sort of in the, it's in your foundation, but in the center, you're, you're getting control. You're having to deal with a very strong personality here as well. The emperor energy at the center of your reading can also indicate someone here who's a bit of a narcissist, pushes you around, a boss, uh, something like that as well. So if it's not the boss pushing you around, this is you taking control. But in your immediate future, I feel like you're moving on. It's like you've, you're jumping on the horse here and you're taking action. You're not taking any crap from anyone. You're just moving ahead. And you do have um, a lot of options, okay, because you've got the Seven of Cups here. So this can also lead to a sense of confusion because you do have a lot of options in front of you and you're just not which, sure which cup to take, okay? It's been a struggle for me to look. But, you know, you don't need to be the shoulder to cry on. Okay, the Queen of Cups here is the Scorpio energy. It's almost like people come to you with their problems, people come to you with their drama, and you're carrying all this crap. And you just need, you don't need to carry the other people's crap. Okay, but Taurian energy is very, um, you know, you're very resilient. Yes, it's the boss. Ah, uh, okay. And in your recent past, I didn't talk about this, but in your recent past, you've also got another knight here, the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is someone who's very sort of walks into a room, says what they want. They don't really think about what, are, what the other people are, you know, they're not, they're not very self-aware, okay? And they tend to just sort of shoot their mouth off and not really pay attention to what's happening when the other person walks in the room. Um, so the energy here in the centre here is like the boss, Okay. But you've got this because in your crowning position, King of Cups, as I said, is about um, mastering your emotions and not letting those emotional situations get to you. You're prepared to move forward. The sun is in your environment here. You're, you've got your own identity here. This is also about ego. This is about your individuality and the, you know, really, really um, positive energy here about embracing the energy of the sun. And this is really, really powerful. 
And I also feel like there's movement here. You know, this is your attitude. Time to move. Time to move forward with will and determination. This is more creative energy coming through. Cancer energy, taking the bull by the horns, moving forward, not taking any crap from anyone, just going for it. It's almost like you're driving the horse and it's hands free. Okay. But you've just got to weigh things up carefully before you make your move. Because you've got the temperance card here, which is outcome. And this is weighing up, you know, having moderation and patience in the situation. And not being overwhelmed. You know, not being overwhelmed with the whole situation. Not being overwhelmed with um, every single thing that crosses your desk or every single thing that anyone says to you. It's just deflected. Because you are very, very resilient. You know, you're hardworking. You're loyal. You know, you do the right thing, but there's only so much someone can take before they can actually, you know, just decide it's time to move. There's an energy here as well in the Page of Wands, which is sitting in your querent position, which is about learning something new here, a new creative passion, a new creative project. But this is also, yeah, upskilling in an area here, okay? Wands are about trade, but wands are also about passion projects. So there's something here that I feel like you, you're you going to embrace. It's time for you to level up so you can get out of there and move on, move forward. Because your chariot energy here is this is your attitude. And your attitude is all about will and determination. It's very strong. Um, it's almost unstoppable. It's like you're just basically jumping in here and just telling everyone to get out of the way. Because you're determined to make this work. And the center of the reading here with that emperor energy, it's always very difficult. And especially with this in the foundation, this is the, you know, the, the, the toxicity, the kind of backstabbing, this kind of stuff. Okay. So being able to move forward is your ability to take a, take action. Knights are about pathways. So this is about taking action and jumping on the horse and creating a new pathway for yourself. But also this is a case of, as well of learning something new here to propel yourself into the future. Because your, your environment is the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. It's really good. And retaining your sense of self. You know, I'm going to circle back to that as well. Like, retain your own identity. Well, you are you. No one can take that away from you. No matter what they say to you, what they, you know, people try and strip each other down in the workplace. It can be really toxic and really debilitating. And if you're surrounded by those people in that sort of situation, there's plenty of jobs out there. You're employable. You've got a good resume. You can find a new job. It's not a problem. And you're ready to go. The, 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 the horse is in the starting gate, okay? And your attitude, attitude here is to move forward with will and determination. But um, as I said, final card here as well, just taking some advice here from spirit is temperance, okay? Sagittarian energy, finding that perfect balance, working with spirit, creating that spiritual alchemy for yourself so then you can move forward into what you really do want to want and res restore that balance, okay? Restore that balance that you're, that you're needing right now. So, Elaine, I hope you found the reading helpful. If you did and you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have just joined the channel, thank you so much for watching. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. I've got a reading here for Jita. Jita's a, um, G has been with us before. I hope, she, hope you're well, Jita. Um, she'd like a career reading here, something about looking for a new job. She's looking for a promotion, but my current job is taking its time. Okay, so you're looking to level up, but it's just not happening quick enough. You know, if you have already expressed something that's not coming through, let's find out what's going on here. Cheetah. I'm also going to put a note here as well to sort of close the session because I, I feel like this is probably going to be the last reading for the day. All right, so I'm going to do this reading for Jita. Jita, can you sort of just let me know what your zodiac sign is as well? Just refresh my memory. I can't remember. Sorry, darling. Yep, I'm. you're a Gemini. 
Okay, I'm a Gemini. Hey, girl. I feel you. And you know, if things are, if things don't move quick enough for a Gemini, yeah, we get really impatient and we just move on. It's like, sorry, if you snooze, you lose. You know, you can move forward and you can move very quickly as well. Oh, thank you. Seven cards tells a story. I really appreciate that. It's so great when people, other people love other people's readings as well and they comment. It's really good. All right. Cheetah, let's find out what's going on. Angel spirits, guys. Angel spirits, guys. What does Jita need to know? About her job, career, moving, the promotion. What the hell's going on here? Let's find out what's going on with Cheetah. Thank you, Spirit. You got the Ace of Swords here. Okay, this is about um, clarity, truth, integrity in a situation. Eight of Swords is in your crowning position. Yep, there's not a lot going on. Four of Cups is in your foundation. This is really positive. This means something's coming through. Okay, there's a St emotional stability is is on the way in your recent past you have the strength card which is leo energy um, and in your immediate future you got temperance this is about moderation and patience being patient with the situation but what do you need to be patient with is it the job is it the promotion what's going on here six of swords this is about a rite of passage and a recovery Page of Swords is oh, lots of sword energy. This is you, Gemini, in your uh, environment. This is about being innovative, you know, taking control and the power of your own uh, mind, you know, because your mind is is everything. Creating healthy boundaries here is in your out, um, attitude position. So sevens are always about reassessment, but seven of wands is about sort of like the back off card. It's about creating healthy boundaries for yourself. Um, so you can do your best work and live your best life and not let people kind of walk all over you. You know, you're definitely not a doormat. It's not how this works. Okay, so your outcome for the reading is the King of Swords, which is your energy. This is Libra energy, but this is also being a master, you know, mastermind, 100%. Um, swords, 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 swords. One, two, three, four. Five in the center. Your ace of swords is in the center and your king of swords is in the outcome. So basically what this is saying is you're going to become a success story. Um, but I feel like there's an energy here where there's a, there's a rite of passage that that needs to take place. Okay. Um, the, rite of pa the rite of passage is kind of like you need the raise, but you've got to work your way through the ranks. Okay. But I feel like... There's also an energy here of creating healthy boundaries. I need my salary raise for that need. For that, I need to get a promotion. All right. Well, in order to get the promotion, this can go two ways. You can wait it out and in your immediate future, you've got to have patience and balance in a situation because I'm sort of sensing here, the querent here is the Six of Swords, which is about a rite of passage. Okay, so a rite of passage is, let's put it in another way, earning your stripes. Okay, a lot of people want pay rises and they want advancement before they've actually had the experience. So I'm not sure how old you are or if you're starting out in your career or this is something you've been waiting on for a while. But if you want to progress and there's a recovery here that needs to take place in terms of your mental health, in terms of recognition, in your environment, you've got the Page of Swords. So this is about it being innovative, you know, walking into the room with a solution, not a problem. You want to be a solutions girl. You want to come into the room and say, um, I've been thinking about this issue, X, Y, Z, and I've come up with this great idea that I feel will save time, money, resources. This is a solution. This is in your environment and it's also how other people see you. They see you as, as someone here who's very smart, who's very quick, you know, quick-witted, quick thinker. And you do. You are a solutions person. You do have great ideas, okay? But then there's also an energy here of you having to create healthy boundaries, you know, just not being taken advantage of to the point where they're going to continue to 
just get what they want from you on the salary that you're on. And then your outcome here is the King of Swords, which is also, um, you have two years experience. Yeah, you're not there yet. That's the thing. Um, Rite of Passage. This is always the Rite of Passage card for me. And this is in your Aquarian position. So what you're going through right now is necessary. Okay. Um, look, we all start in jobs on low salaries and we all start in situations where we want more than we are getting. So we either jump ship, move somewhere else, or we stick with the job and work our way up. So this feels like, to me, this is a rite of passage that needs to occur. Okay, I know you probably don't want to hear that, but it's, that's just the way it is. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Wands. This is about planning. Okay, so it's all about laying down the blueprints here. When you lay down the blueprints, you can see the future. You can't build a house without blueprints first. And at the moment, it feels like this is your overarching energy. This is your blueprint energy. Clarifying that, you have the Page of Cups. Okay, so there is someone coming through for you here that's going to offer you something. Okay, yeah, this you've had this job since you graduated, but you're still young. You're still a graduate. Two years is nothing. Ten years is a senior position. Five years is where you'd get a promotion. Two years after university, you're still a junior. Okay, and I speak from experience. I was in corporate for 30 years. I don't know what it is that you do, but two years in the, in the field, you're still rite of passage here. Okay, darling, you still have to work your way through. But you have to stay with it and you've got to be a solution skill and therefore you can move forward. Okay. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the entire reading. Um, Yamalet. Sure, darling, if you would like a reading, I'm happy to stay. But you need to use the super sticker and then I'll read you after Jita. I'll make an exception because you've just turned up. So I'm happy to do that for you if you donate before I finish the end of this reading, which is going to be, you know, another five minutes. I will give you the reading. But if you don't donate, then I'm going to close the channel after this reading, which will be in five five minutes or so. Okay. But I'm happy to do I'm happy to do the reading. So let me know. I'll see it pop up anyway. If you want one, it'll pop up. Okay, Cheetah. Now back to you, my love. I'll walk you through everything I see, but what you've got to do here is take the take this advice because this is, you know, this is advice from spirit. Tarot I take very seriously, and when the messages come through, it's kind of what you need to hear right now. In your center position here, the Ace of Swords, this is about you wanting truth. This is about you wanting integrity. This is about your mental health, and this is also about working on the self. Because aces are about new beginnings, which is still a new beginning for you. But you're also wanting to um, have clarity in the situation. Okay. You want to have truth, integrity, and a clear direction, a laser focus as to what you want to have happen. In your crowning position, you've got the eight of swords, which is overthinking it. Okay. This is, a, this is an energy here of no movement. Okay. You're overanalyzing it. You know, um, try and take a step back. Don't overanalyze things and then things will progress. It's almost like just let it go and let things happen the way they're supposed to happen. They're aware of the fact that you're still young. You've only been in the internship or whatever for two years. And if there's something that needs to progress here, you have to be patient because that's coming up here in your immediate future. All right. So just take this on board. This is in your crowning position analysis paralysis okay you've just got to not overthink it all right in your foundation you've got your four of cups now this is about focusing on the day-to-day -day and waiting for that fourth cup to come in it is coming but you've just got to be a little bit more patient i'm going to give you a timing here as well four months okay in four months you will get what you want in terms of the next step up but it'll be four months from now in your recent past, you've got the Leo energy. This is strength. Okay, so this is about rising above the situation, being the bigger person and digging deep. Success doesn't happen overnight. Success doesn't happen after being in a job for two years. It took me 30 years to become a business owner, to be a director, to do the things that I did in my career path. That takes time. That takes reputation. 
that takes the ability to walk into a room and solve problems and come up with business ideas and do things. And this is part of your growth. So you've just got to be patient with the situation, okay? This is a this is about being the bigger person and not sort of de being demanding when you walk into the room. It's just not going to happen that way. Your immediate future is temperance, which is Sagittarian energy. And this is also about um, being, you're obviously being very blunt with what you want, but at the same time, you know, you're obviously reporting to people who are much older than you. And I'm telling you right now, they're probably sitting in their seat listening to what you're saying and going, she wants to run before she can walk. So you've got to be patient. Moderation and patience in the situation. Replenish yourself. Know that this isn't always going to be the way. This is just about um, being patient, okay? I'm giving six months off time frame. Yeah, so just hang in there. This is you sitting here with me today. This is the Six of Swords. So this is about looking up, not looking down. This is looking towards the light and going through a, um, a rite of passage here. Sixes are also about recovery. Okay, so if you may have felt like you've been in the wars with something or had some sort of toxic conversation with someone, you're moving forward now. Okay, it's smooth sailing for you moving forward. All right. Um, but you, as I said, you just got to be patient. Okay. There's an urgency here that I'm urgency, urgency energy that I'm getting here. It's a little bit, yeah, just chill <laughs> in your environment. You've got the page of swords. So again, this is you walking into a room being solutions girl. And this is also how other people see you. They see you as smart, bright, intelligent, excited energy. This is you in that sphere. This is you being innovative, coming up with solutions for people. You're a bright spark, okay? No doubt about it. No one's doubting your intelligence or your application or whatever, but you just got to take it slow. And I know it's really difficult when you're starting out a career because you just want everything now, but I speak from experience. It takes years and it takes a long time. And whatever it is that you want to do and where you want to go, just stick at it. You know, you've got to be persistent you got to be um uh what's the word consistent as well show up for work on time every day same time every day be consistent because jobs promotions as well people reward consistency so the, there's a message here for you on that as well this is your attitude um creating healthy boundaries making sure that you know you don't burn yourself out all right getting enough sleep making sure that you take lunch at the same time every day Creating a routine here for yourself that is about um, healthy boundaries because there's no point in busting your ass and being tired and then you become snappy and then, you know, you then you do a crappy day the next day. Moderation and patience in your immediate future and creating healthy boundaries is your attitude, all right? Making sure you eat well, you sleep well, you get some exercise in, whatever. That's what this is about, all right? And not being on the defense. Stop being so defensive. Just create balance for yourself and put one foot in front of the other. That's all it, that's all it takes. It's actually very simple. All right. Your outcome is amazing. Okay. Your outcome is the sword energy, but it's a king. And the king is about mastery. It's the top. It's the mastery card. It's like there's no higher sword card than this card. And this is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy. So it's your energy. And it's about being at the top, getting what you want being the master in the situation. So you just got to hang in there, doll, because this is waiting for you. And this can also indicate, you know, a higher position, being promoted or being whatever. But as I said, there's a promotion coming. It's just a rite of passage. And I feel in a foundation here, the four of cups, this feels like around four months. Your overarching energy here is the two of wands, which is about planning for the future, looking at the world in the palm of your hands, looking out, looking big, laying down some blueprints. The house isn't built yet. You're still looking at blueprints. You're still designing your life. You're still designing the architecture. That's that's your overarching energy. And your clarifier is the Page of Cups. This is an offer, right? This is your creative opportunity. This is the cup that's coming through here. You've got the Four of Cups in your foundation, which is usually the Three Cups on the ground and the Fourth Cup coming in. This is in the foundation, and then it's clarified here by the Page of Cups, which is the final offer that's coming in. This is a declaration. OK, so I, I don't feel you should change jobs. I feel like you need to stick with the one that you've got. Wait for the promotion. Do the work. Be consistent. Come to the come to the table with bright being that bright spark that you are, because this is yellow as well. This is your this is your mind. This is your intellect. 
You you can do this. You're a Gemini. You've got this. So, Jita, I hope you found the reading helpful. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you guys have had a reading today and you enjoyed the experience, check out the uh, link in my description. There is a link there as well if you'd like to leave a Google review on my business page, which I would really appreciate as a small business owner. It really helps people understand that I actually know what I'm talking about and gives some confidence in maybe getting a reading with me. Um, I'd really appreciate it. I don't have a full-time job. This is my job. This is what I do for a living. Uh, I'm self-employed. I love my job, but also at the same time, you know, you've got to push for feedback as well. So um, I can't do this on my own. This is a group effort. <laughs> so, Jita, I hope you um, enjoyed the reading and you found it helpful. Yamalet. Yamalet is here. She's a Taurus. What's coming up in my love life in the near future? Thank you. Thank you, my love. All right. I'm going to read through Yamalets as well because she asked if I wanted to, if she wanted a reading. So if you ask me and then you you put the donation down, yeah, I'll stick around. But um, I'm just going to get some water as well. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Cheetah. Hey, girl, don't forget to go to my Google page. The link's in the description if you want to leave me a, uh, a review about your career advice. I used to be a mentor as well. I used to mentor cadets and things like that as well. So I love I love seeing young people grow and doing new things and, and sticking at it. Be patient with yourself. You got this. Thank you, Jita. Lots of love, darling. You take care. I hope to see you again sometime. Keep in touch. Let me know how things go. So now we're going to do a reading for Yamalet. Yamalet's a Taurus. She'd like to know what's happening in her love life in the future. Let's find out what's going on with Yamalet. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. It's been fun once again. Um, I think this is going to be the last reading for the day. I hope it is. I'm actually really hungry. I need some lunch. All right, cool. You ready, Yamalet? Let's go. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What does Yamalat need to know about her love life? She's a Taurus. What's happening in the future here? What's going on? Talk to me. What's happening with Yamalat's love life? Thank you, angel spirits, guides, for your messages today. Thank you so much for the readings. Thank you so much for everybody joining, raising the vibration, being positive, being fabulous. And being nice, to, being kind to one another in the comments as well is, I really love that too. I think it's just so special for everyone to chip in and join in and, you know, it's all good. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What does Yamalet need to know about her love life? Oh, you got the sun here, my dear. This is in the center of your reading. So Leo energy, it's about your identity. King of Cups is in your crowning position. This is Cancer energy. In your foundation, you've got the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Recent past. You've got the Emperor here in your recent past. Uh, I feel very strongly... Oops. I feel very strongly as well here. You may have been dealing with someone in the past here who had a very um, strong personality. Sorry, my glasses just fell off. <laughs> In your immediate future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. New beginning with an Earth sign. Three of Cups. This is a reason to celebrate. Very nice. In your environment, you've got the Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, King of Wands is your outcome. Uh, sorry, your attitude. So you've got King of Cups and King of Wands in your crowning positions. Wow. And the outcome is the Tower, which is um, can be something quite um, intense, like, you know, um, like the ending of a job or something is going to lead you into the new phase. There's like a new phase that's coming here. Something's going to push you. Spirit's going to push you here. 
Okay, this is Mars energy. This is kind of like coming to a head with something. And it's going to propel you into what you, where you need to be. Um, but in the centre of your reading here, you've got the sun, which is the which is beautiful. Show me the. Um, I started shuffling there, but show me the overarching energy. What's the overarching energy for the reading? Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is karmic energy that's coming through here. Bottom of the deck, the Death card. Yep, Scorpio. This is transformation. So I feel like um, maybe as well here, you you're finally. Are you ending a divorce? Because this is this is normally the card of divorce. So I don't know if you're still um, trying to get rid of someone here from the past, but this needs to come down before you can move forward. All right. And this needs to come down in the next, this is going to come down in the next four to six weeks. So I feel like you're, um, yeah, they're, you're just sort of, there's someone here in your environment that you need to get the hell away from. Because in, in your environment here, you've got the Eight of Cups as well, which is walking away from things that no longer serve you, okay? You've got the sun in the center of your reading, which is really, really, really positive. But I feel like there's someone here that you still have in your environment that you need to get the hell away from because the sun is shining on you. And you've crown, you're crowning you here as King of Cups, which is about mastering your emotions. And in the foundation here, you've got the Page of swords which is someone here that's quite young juvenile it's like a young energy that's quite juvenile but also someone here in the past who was very strong personality like a narcissist or something like that very very difficult to to deal with um does that make sense i was talking to someone and walked away as i didn't feel stable yeah but also there's unfinished business it feels like there's unfinished business here with um someone from the past Okay, and at the moment I feel like you're also a little bit confused because your overarching energy is the Seven of Cups and this is like karmic energy where you're trying to decide on what you what, which cup you want to take because there's lots of options in front of you. You can actually go for whoever you want, you know what I mean? Like you're not spoiled for choice here. But what it's doing is it's alienating you a little bit and you feel like you're in the dark. But you've got the Death card here, which is transformation, okay, Scorpio energy coming through. Um... I don't know if you know a Scorpio, but there's something here that's karmic, which you are shedding the old to make way for the new. It's transformative energy. It's like you're going from cocoon to butterfly. The past is trying to creep in. Yeah, well, it's still there. It's like it's something here is going to come to a head, okay? And I don't know what this is just yet, but something here in the next four to six weeks is going to kind of go bang, and it's going to make something happen here. In the foundation, the bottom of the deck here, you've got the um, your card. This is card of Taurus. Were you previously married? Because this card is kind of like ceremonial as well. Okay, you weren't married. Well. It's definitely about the way that you're the way that you're sort of showing other people certain things. This is going to sort of um, this is being looked at, okay? He wrote on a live I did and notice he's trying to creep in. Yeah, you need to walk away from that shit. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I just want to focus on this for your immediate future. Could even be um, this is the card of marriage as well. So this could be like the ending of something to make way for the person that you're going to meet, and the person that you're going to meet here in the in your immediate future is an Earth sign. So it could be another another Taurus or Capricorn uh, or a Virgo. But there's a new beginning for you here as well. It could be a new you're starting a new job uh, if you've been looking. But the new beginning as well, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. And this is also about take, um, being financially independent. You know, you don't really need anyone to take care of you here. You're very independent. Um, you've got your own money. You've got your own place, whatever. Um, it's it's all very positive. Okay. Um, page of 
Page of Cups, new love coming in. Here we go. There is a new beginning for you coming. Who's this Page of Cups that's coming in? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, a knight. Okay, so this is another Earth sign. Um, could be a Virgo, actually. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy, but it is coming towards you, but it's coming really slowly. Okay, it's moving really slowly. Ten of Wands. Okay, so Ten of Wands is about responsibility taking on too much responsibility so just be mindful of that because in the immediate future here you could also be biting off more than you can chew um, but i i feel like really strongly here like they you know you as i said you're very independent you've got your own thing going on here um but there's also an energy here where you don't want to take on too much responsibility here or someone here who's who's it could be the person actually that you're meeting that is a Virgo who is very busy all the time, who has a lot of responsibility, who has a lot of stuff coming through. Wheel of Fortune as well. Yeah. I feel like there's um, the wheels turning for you. This is going to happen in the next four to six weeks. Okay. There's a timing for you on that. The next four to six weeks, I feel like there's a Virgo coming towards you. I'm going to offer you a cup of love because you're financially independent, right? you got your own shit. You can do your own thing. But you're also going to meet someone here who's almost going to be meet, meet your match. Okay? Um, they work just as hard. They're just as committed. They're a bit over-committed, to be honest. But it's good fortune for you. Money, money as well. This person's got good money. They make good money. The wheel's turning in your favour. Okay? So this is super positive. Um... But, you, yeah, you definitely have to walk away from things that no longer serve you. And there's like a breakdown here. There's like an ending. And this, this is the final card here as well. This could be the uh, card of marriage. Okay, so this is Taurus. This is the card of Taurus. But this is also the card um, of marriage. So this could be indicating here that the next person that you meet, who is a Virgo, coming through here, it's going to happen really slowly. Like this isn't like a rush in kind of fast love situation this is slow and steady wins the race you know this is cooking a meal for someone and you know the way to the man's heart is through his stomach kind of situation this person needs peace and quiet when they finish work at the end of the day they don't want crazy rowdiness they just want something that's calm and collected and stable and secure and all those sorts of things and they're the things that you can provide no, this person's this person isn't like that. This person is very slow and very considered, very thoughtful, um, very devoted, um, and has got a really, really good energy about them. This is you uh, in as the Quarant, the Three of Cups. This is a celebration. You've, this is an engagement as well. So you're going from an engagement to a wedding here as well. You could even be meeting them at a wedding or an engagement. Okay, that could also be something here as well that's sort of popping up here. Um, but it's something to celebrate. So you're going from the Three of Cups to the Hierophant, which is really cool. Show me the Three of Cups here. I'll just get some clarity for you. Show me the Three of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, nice. Yeah, Five of Cups here is about um, regret, you know, no regrets, starting over here, okay. Um, Ace of Wands is new beginnings, especially fiery romance, passion. Ace of Wands is like taking a matchstick out of the box and striking the match and it's like a new flame, new inspiration, new passion, new excitement, new beginning, okay, definitely. Um Yeah, I'm not sure if I gave you a timing. I don't think I did give you a timing on this. But it could even be, say, three months because Three of Cups is like a timing as well. It's like a three-month three month wait, three-month period. Um, Eight of Cups, as I said, I'm going to talk, not talk about this again, but this is walking away from things that no longer serve you, turning your back, terminating all old connections. Terminating connections that just do not serve you, okay? You're done. You're off. 
you're moving away. You're following your passions now. You're following new new beginnings here. Your attitude is King of Wands as well, which is Aries. Okay, and this is very fiery. This is an attitude of taking control. This is an attitude of, you know, no BS. Okay, and, and Mars energy. So you're going for what you want because Mars is the planet of what you want. Okay, it's, it's taking something and grabbing it. It's going, that's mine and taking it from the universe, pulling it down from the stop, from the sky and owning it. Mars is here and Mars is here as well. So you're fired up right now. Very, very, very um, fired up. And I feel like it's going to pay off because, it, again, it's a double entendre. This is kind of like your yeah, card of Taurus, but also the card of marriage. So, And you're going through this transformation at the moment. This is transformative energy. But at the moment, you might just feel a little bit confused. But just be patient. Because I feel really strongly, as I said, you've got a Virgo energy coming through here that's the wheels turning in your favor. Three months. Okay? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Yamalet. Let me know in the comments as well. Uh, if you guys are still here and where you're calling in from, let me know if you've enjoyed the session today. If you want to join me again tomorrow, I will be here at the same time tomorrow for two hours. I'm going to stay on from 10 till 12. Right now I'm going to go have some lunch. Then I'm going to go get my nails done. So then tomorrow when you see me, woohoo, I'm going to have new nails, which I'm really excited about. Um, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I love all of you guys showing up every live I do. It's a really, it's a lot of fun. Big bear hug. You are welcome, gorgeous. I will enjoy my lunch. I'm a Taurus rising. I know what that's all about. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. Lots of love. And don't forget again, same time tomorrow, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. If you'd like to join, don't forget to, uh, you know, participate. Follow me on Instagram as well. If you'd like to learn tarot, go check out my New Angel Tarot Academy as well. All the links are in the description below. I run it at Tarot Academy where you can learn tarot over a period of eight weeks. It's learn as you go. I don't need to be there, but I am always there for you to reach out at any time, jump on a Zoom with you, whatever. I'm there to nurture you and take you on your tarot journey. Um, I'd love to hear from you, so go check that out as well. And if you'd like a personal reading on Zoom or something like that, a bit more private, um, you can check that out as well on my website, newangeltarot.com. So until next time, tomorrow, if you're around tomorrow, I'll see you then. If not, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye, guys.